on Ursula's tonight. For those of you who don't know, Ursula is a uh, rather aggravated spirit. She burned alive in her house. Uh, the night before her wedding, she actually burned while she was trying on her wedding dress. So some nights when you go back there, you see her walking around her wedding dress. Lying almost on the ground, it was gray. Turns out it was ash, as we found out. Trip. Wow. This is you and me. Yeah, we saw. Yeah, we saw that. After a little bit, we started hearing what we thought at first were maybe like some sort of weird like bird calls, like a raccoon. But after it just started sounding like somebody was crying. Well, back here just about every night till dark, uh -huh. but I don't fool around after yeah. dark. And I'm not talking about like 8 or 9. You get there around midnight, 1 o'clock, you don't want to be here. Like wailing sometimes or like a cry. Bird calls like a raccoon, but I think it just started sounding like somebody was crying. The closer you walk towards that building, the further it gets away. As you got closer, though, the crying just got louder and louder. And the closer you walk towards that building, the further it gets away. Ear-splitting shriek that sounded from the house. Somebody walked up right alongside of me. I could feel them. I could, I could actually touch them. I mean, they were right there. I shine the light over, and they're gone. Scratchy, like a record player noise or something like that with some old funky ass music. Three or four years ago, we heard a. Uh, well, we went back last night and uh, we heard a song playing on a radio, an old looking radio. Scratchy, like a record player noise or something like that with some old funky ass music. We'll find out all the answers. And then, and then we'll shatter the mystery and then we can move on and get over Ursula and get over all this uh, kind of like ooh, spooky stuff. Hi, how may I help you? Look, motherfucker, you call me one more time. Like, it, this is shame on me because I had my ringer on during filming. But you pretty much just fucked up the closing of my video. I will go Liam Neeson on your fucking ass. I will find you and I will kill you. I will skull fuck you, your whole family, your mom, your kids, whatever the hell you got going on. Look, if you're a juggie, I love you. I love you to death. Keep it rigid. But you can't keep fucking calling this number. And if I find out you leak it, we're done here. I, I, fuck you. What? What did you say? Come back. There's no number. Coincidence.